Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on this show, a good friend of mine is going to be taking over and giving you guys his review on Bloodshot. Uh, before we get into that, I have a few things I want to talk with you guys about. Uh, right now, I'm taking a break because I have tons of schoolwork I have to keep up on. Taking six classes this semester, two classes over the summer, five in the fall and five in the spring. Then I'll be uh, done with my associate's degree and start moving on to bachelor's. Uh, so for the time being, we're going to be doing more of the roundtable topic discussions like what we did in the previous weeks or previous months actually. It's been about a little over a month since the last time I uploaded. And we're going to do those via Zoom because of the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, and that that's because it doesn't require a whole lot of editing for me to be able to do videos like that. But with videos like History and Origins, it requires a lot of editing. So I'm only going to be able to bring you guys a few of those during our during my school breaks and everything. Uh, so, But we will continue to do History and Origins. With that being said... There are two other channels for Comageddon TV. There's Comageddon Collectibles and Comageddon Vinyls, which each focus on something different. Uh, Comageddon Collectibles is a toy review channel, and I have been uploading on there a little bit more frequently than on here. Uh, Comageddon Vinyls is where we review pop vinyls. If you guys are interested in those things, head on over there. Links will be in the description below, as well as at the end of this video. Also, I have another channel called Psychology of the Unknown. You guys are more than welcome to head on over and check it out. I'm working on a series right now about Jack the Ripper. Uh, I have a video on there called Psychology of Ghosts. And I'm going to work on more videos for that channel. Um, it's what I turned my horror channel into. Uh, I wasn't really happy with the way the horror channel was going with my short horror films. So that's what I did with that channel. And I'm really happy with the direction it's going now. So, again, links will be in the description below. Uh, to let you guys know a little bit about Greg, who will be uploading more videos on the channel for me. Uh, he is the one who got me into YouTube to begin with. Uh, started out as he was, uh, he was the one who created the YouTube lawn care community here on YouTube. And... He's had several hit YouTube channels, and he deleted all his channels a while back and took a break from YouTube, and now he's coming back and he's not sure what he wants to do on YouTube. So he decided, since I've been so busy with schoolwork, he was going to create some videos for Comageddon, and if he likes it, he may do more. He may upload more videos like this on his channel and become a part of our community here on YouTube. So if you guys enjoy his review of the movie Bloodshot, let us know in the comments below. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel, which right now is more of a vlog channel than anything else, in the description below as well as at the end of this video. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again real soon. You're watching Comic Geddon TV. I'm your guest host, Greg. I just watched Bloodshot the movie, the early access release. Don't be scared, we're gonna talk for a couple minutes and then give this movie a rating. First things first, this will not be a normal movie review because I'm not normal. And second of all, I will not spoil this movie. I would never do that to you. Look at this. Boom! That's how the movie starts, action. I like that, that's why I wanted to watch it in the first place. If you're a fan of military style weapons and battle scenes, military battle scenes, you're gonna get a lot of that. You're gonna get your money's worth. So, that could be a bonus for you. It was for me. I like that stuff. How about some good old-fashioned fight scenes? Well, you're going to get a lot of those, too. Right here, he's jumping up. He's getting ready to double-kick this dude, fly him through the air. <laughs> it's cool. Look at his chest. Yeah, right? And I, what I mean by good old-fashioned is it could be one-on-one -on -one or, you know, ten verse one. I like those odds, too. But they're realistic in the part that it's a human versus another human. They might be superhuman, 
but it's still kind of normal, right? You can get into the battle. You feel like everybody stands a chance of winning and taking a punch. You can feel it better than you can fighting some supernatural swirling thing in the sky and all this, or you know, trying to punch like some supernatural ghost or whatever. You can't. I can't punch it. Give me the real old-fashioned bop, 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 rock 'em, sock 'em. Now there's a freaky scene for you. So this is an origin movie. They have to tell the story of Bloodshot, and it is a little bit different than the comic book version. Which so that could make some people not so happy. Other people, they probably didn't read the comic. Let's put it this way: I bought the comics back in the day, but I bought like the first year, maybe only read the first five or six issues. Kept buying them, collecting them, because that was the whole time when Valiant, Defiant, Image, everybody was pumping out this independent stuff other than Marvel and DC we had competition for once and that's the way this movie is we have competition other than Marvel and DC for superhero movies so I bought them I kind of forgot no I didn't go back and revisit them so in my opinion the origin story is solid it works out just fine for this movie and if you've never read the comics it's not going to matter to you any different if you're looking for the exact same thing that was in the comic well you're going to be a little bit disappointed. But towards the later part of this movie, you start to think and feel more like the comic book. It has to start somewhere, and it all ends up someplace else. Just like life. Just like his face. It started one place and ended up like that. I really don't know how to continue speaking on this movie without accidentally giving up a spoiler. So what we're going to do is summarize by saying, if you want an action movie, a superhero movie, jam-packed with high quality there's no cheesiness to this this is a high quality production if you want it all wrapped into one thing with a star like Vin Diesel and all great actors doing their parts and um, an origin story and just blast through it from action from one end to the other then this is a pretty good shot at it bloodshot and <laughs> right here you got nose wheelies on motorcycles you have vehicles crashes explosions buildings jumping from rooftops you have it all it's all of that wrapped into one big production. And again, it is high class. Now, I want to say this. I feel bad for everybody involved in the production of this movie because its release date came at the worst possible time. Right when we had to close all of the theaters nationwide and then worldwide. So we'll never get to know what numbers it could have done at the theater with all the, the, the hype, the, the revenue it could have generated. Those, those are very important to getting part twos and for other people to want to put money behind productions like this. They did it great on the screen. This was, it was right there. It showed it, but we won't get a no, and I hope it didn't deter a lot of people from coming into the industry and putting pressure on Marvel and DC, which have had a stranglehold on everything. This is competition here, high quality competition. We just got a bloodshot movie. There's really one made with Vin Diesel in it, and it's good. And it came right in there. And I want more, and I think you need more. We need competition. There's a lot of comic book movies that could be made. I'm a geek, and there's a lot of stuff out in geekdom <laughs> that can be done. And this shows that it can be done. So my $20 that I just spent on this, I hope that helps them to see the potential that they could have had had it stayed in the theaters. And I hope that if you rent it and buy it, that all that adds up and we get more players in the game. We get more cool movies. Look at this battle. Look at that getting ready to go down. Bring it on. Let's rate this movie. Look at that. 579 people have went on Amazon Prime with their name and left a rating. A rating of four out of five stars. You think, is that good? Oh, that's pretty darn good. You go on Amazon Prime, type in all your favorite movies, the ones you've watched 10, 15 times, and you're like, ooh, I love it, it's the best ever. Well, guess what? Three stars all over the place. So that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, and I also am going to rate it four out of five stars because there's always room for improvement, just like me in this video. I could have done better, <laughs> and maybe I will in the future. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me make another one of these. But also, go on there. Go on Bloodshot and find my comment on Amazon Prime. I'm going to make the 580th comment. And I will. My name's Greg, 
and it will be a freaky comment, and it will say Comic Geddon TV, where all things geek culture collide. Well, they might not allow me to do that, but we're gonna find out. Because that's where you need to subscribe, right here. Because all things geek culture do collide. I ended up here and I'm a geek. Don't be scared. Don't forget the treasure hunt. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.